Hi boys and girls, we are going to work on the background for our Bridget Riley artwork. It's kind of a two part project. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is create an X across your paper. So it doesn't have to be from corner to corner exactly. If you can get it corner to corner, that's cool. I like to use a ruler to help me out. If you have a ruler, that's fine. If you don't have a ruler, use the edge of a folder or notebook. And if you don't have that, just do your best. The straighter the line, the better the op art illusion is going to happen, just like Bridget Riley. As we start working, you might start to notice there's a little overlapping with Frank Stella. Remember that guy, right? They both were artists around the same time and had some similar things happening. So you can see that I made an X and now I'm going to make um, like a plus sign. So it's like a multiplication sign and a plus sign. And I'm just rotating my paper as I go. And then we're going to do some curve lines. Now you should be using a pencil in case you make a mistake. I am going to be using my Sharpie so that you can see. So we are going to make some sad and happy lines. How are we doing that? I'm going to make some curves. So this is going to look sad. Give yourself some room, okay? Don't make, your, make them too tight. You can always add more in if you want. But I suggest for your first go around, just try to give yourself a little space. We're going to do the opposite in every single one. So this is like a sad line. So now I'm going to make curve in the opposite direction. And to me that looks like a happy line or a happy face. And as you get to the end, you might have to add one in that goes off the edge. I'm using my drawing board, so if anything goes off, it doesn't get onto the table. So if you have a piece of paper to lay down, that could help. So sad, happy, it's time to do the sad again. So I'm lining it up. Continue going. And again, right off the edge. Sad, happy. Gonna add more in there. Happy, sad. Keep on going around. Sad, happy. Happy, sad. And here I should have happy. Okay. Now, and if you want, you can attach a one right there. Okay, so now from here, you can do opposites. So you could do black, white, black, white, black. And then in the other side, you would do white, black, white, black, white. You can do the opposites. You could do complementary colors. So what are complementary colors? If we look at our color wheel, they are opposite on the color wheel, red, Green, orange, blue, purple, yellow. So you could decide that you would like to do that way. It can be markers, crayons, colored pencils. It does not matter. It is totally your call. Another thing that you can do is you can add some shading. How could you do that? By using crayons or colored pencils, you can do that creating some different values. So this is an indigo. So I'm going to color this whole space indigo. Lightly color. 
And then what I can do is on the edges, I would push a little harder. Making it the lightest at the top, middle, and then dark. Papa bear, mama bear, baby bear, dark, medium, light. Now I'm going to find a yellow color. And I'm going to lightly color in the whole space. And then I'm going to start making it a little darker on the edges. And definitely keep it light in the middle. Now on something like the yellow, where it's very, very hard to see, I might add in a little bit of orange to help darken up the edges. Or you could, if you wanted to, let's see, it doesn't look like I have a black in here. You could add a little bit of black in there as well, or even some gray. Doesn't look like I have that in here. For this color as well, you could do the same thing, or you can even add a little bit of purple in there to make it a little bit darker. Because that indigo is like a blue. Purple. And then you would just keep on going. Get my indigo again. Oops, I think I lost it. There we go. And you would just keep on moving out like that. So you can see that by creating those darker areas, I'm getting that 3D effect. So if you wanna keep doing that, you can do that. Now, if you don't wanna do that, so you would do that on the whole thing if you wanted to. If you just wanted to do marker, so if you just wanted to make it without any of that 3D effect, that's fine, totally fine. You would just make sure that you're doing the opposites. There is no right or wrong. You're just coloring very carefully and making sure to do the opposites. So this is not what I want you to do for your finished piece. This is just me showing you two different looks. They're, again, neither one is right or wrong. It's just two different options for you to choose. As you move around your whole piece, you're going to want to make sure that you're just doing the opposite of what's next door. So, if this one is purple, then next door will be yellow, and next door will be yellow. It's creating a checkerboard effect. And don't worry, I'll be teaching you all of these things during class, and you can always ask me questions if you have any questions about it. These videos are just to help you along your way. If you happen to miss a step or if I go too fast, you can always take a look back. So you can see this is a little bit faster and I'm not encouraging you to go faster or slower. It's really a personal preference. Maybe you like the more bold look of the marker. Maybe you like that softer 3D effect there. Again, there's no right or wrong, but that's what we're headed for. So again, your next door neighbor would be the opposite. Okay, so that is going to be our first step of our Bridget Riley. Again, you would be filling in this whole piece with color. And then I'm going to show you the next step for what we're gonna add on top. And as always, enjoy and stay creative.